Hi everybody. So here's the book I just worked on, right? The one I kind of altered and made to my likings and stabilized it better since it was falling apart. Here's the thing. Gina Ahrens sent me a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful um, travel size watercolors. And I barely popped into them and started using them. Oh, what is this? Four months later or three months later, I just started using them. I was kind of afraid to use them. But that said, I want to use them. And I've used them twice. Don't get me wrong. I've used them twice on um, an art game that I play with uh, the Art Sherpa. And I play along with Maricha the Junk and Data Girl, and Auntie Bernie, and who else? Claire Stuckley. We all play an art game on Skype, and it's a really fun game. Anyway, so I've used my watercolors twice, and that said, I love the watercolors. Now let me share with you guys what we've done, or what I've done with them. hit this one which is a mixture of acrylics and watercolors and I adore it let me back up so you guys can get a full picture let me pull up the camera a little bit so I'm so new to the watercolors like excessively new to the watercolors but I fell in love with them I really really did and there's so much more to learn so that's one that's an, an art game we play. And this is a little silly, but it's an art game we played. And it involve, involves so much that I won't even get into it right now. But yeah, there's that one. And I don't even know what kind of paper this is. Uh, white mixed media paper. And this other art game, we, another page we did playing our art game which I'm really enjoying because it's pushing me to the limits. That's a piece that I did. And I really enjoy it. Really, really enjoy it. So that said, I went on Facebook right now and I asked anybody that would answer and I haven't gotten an answer yet and it's been about mm, 20 minutes. Does watercolor work on gesso? I have no stinking clue. So since I'm, maybe everybody's busy, I'm just going to experiment and try it on my own. I have no clue. And it plus, it's late in reality. Nobody's really going to be up. So I'm going to try it on my own. And the reason I want to know is because I do want to do my Smackdown. Ah, can't open this thing. Oh, that's probably why I have rubber bands here. Because I probably have come into that problem before. There we go. So I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to try. I probably should try somewhere else. But I'm not going to. I'm going to try here. Let me find a brush. I, it's a dry brush. And I don't want to completely cover up the words. Oh, that, that came right off. That's okay. I'll tape that down. I don't want to cover up the words in the background that much. I'm going to hold it here. It's a very old book, it seems like. There must be a date somewhere here I haven't looked at. But I don't want the words to be covered up completely. I do want the words to come through. But I want to know, does jet, does watercolors work on gesso? So we'll find out. Okay, 
As soon as that dries, I'm going to have to tape that in, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Dipping my brush in water just to get it a little bit moist, just to move this paint around a little bit more. I mean, the gesso around a little bit more. You know, um, Maricha, the junk and data girl, knows a lot about watercolors, but she's nowhere around right now. And she usually is. She's my night buddy. Anyways, well, I always do that. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll come back. See you in a little bit. Hi, everybody. So we're back to find out if I can watercolor over gesso. So let me pull my watercolors, and I am using... The Koi Watercolors Pocket Field Sketch Box by Sakura Color Products Corporation. And this was sent over to me by Gina Ahrens. Gina Ahrens has a YouTube channel, and her YouTube channel is Gina Ahrens. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. And I also have a watercolor in black and a Stabilo, and this came with the Koi set, and this came with the Koi set, so I'll keep that maybe right there. This will be my third time playing with watercolors, as I showed you previously, but my first time playing on top of gesso. Let's see if this works out. So I'm going to just spray over on my watercolors and let's jump in. Let's do this. I'm going to do my freehand freeform flower. It will get bigger and bigger as I go. Looks like it's working. We'll find out how well it's going to work. I basically am treating it as I do when I uh, use my acrylics. That way I have no fear. While using it, get over that fear of, I'm no watercolor pro. But I sure do love playing in it. And if it's too wet, it seems that I can wipe away or tap on top of it. <laughs> of course, something like that happened. Just a random piece of paper. And tap on it. Like that to absorb some of the water. And then I can squeeze a little bit of water and rub it in these sponges so that I can move on to the next color. And let's play with some. Uh, throw some purple in there.
I'm not squeezing the water while I'm doing this. I'm just letting whatever water is on the brush do its thing. I'm totally new at this. I just love how you guys join me on my ventures of things that I, I'm i up to and things that I do. I love sharing with you guys. Okay, I'm going to wipe again away. And I'm going to pick up a dark green. Just play around. I might want a blue center. Let's try that out. Being very free. It's a very free way of me expressing myself here. Well, I, come, I can come all the way through and give it like a wash of blue. Did I even press record? Yes, I did.
And I love how the wording is coming through the gesso. That's perfect for me. I still wanted the book text to come through. Can you hear the crickets? Pretty sure you can hear my fan. I don't have an AC in my art studio. But I do have a fan and I appreciate that fan. So the middle seems to be dry. I'm going to go in there with a ink pen in a second. But I want to add some something more here. Let's see. Let me clean this off. And let me add a lighter shade of blue. I mean of green. Some randomness here. Random bushes. And maybe a sun. And let's see, maybe some of these petals have fallen off in random places. And um, I will come 
back into this with the pin. Let's see, are we ready? Yeah, no. We'll see. Let's see. Let's place some more somewhere else. I'm going into the red and just dropping it here and there. And some purple. Where'd that purple go? Is that purple? No, that's blue. Yeah, you see how new I am? I don't know where the colors are. Throw some purple in here. and some blue. I just mixed up a few blues. No 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 rhyme or reason. Just to have some blue in. I'll let this dry and then we'll come back and I'll add the inks in a little bit. See you guys in a little bit.